Welcome. This is the overview video from Module 8, which looks at the strategic execution of organizations and leadership and culture. That is, how one builds an organization, creates an organization, that can not only identify possible strategic op options and the strategic situation, etc., but also is able to organize itself to begin the initiatives that are necessary in order to actualize uh, the results of that analysis, that is, actualize the strategy, move in new directions, transform itself internally, uh, deal with changes and stresses in the organization, and come out stronger and better and more strategically well positioned after the stresses and the traumas than before. So that's what this particular, and it's the final module for this course, will talk about how one goes about getting themselves organized. This is the overview. I've divided this discussion into two broad sections. The first section talks about the people and the capabilities themselves and how organizations think about and identify what possible ways to execute there are and how you build the capabilities to do that, thinking about having the right people that know the right things, that have the right experiences, putting them in the right places, so that once the strategy is formulated and, and, and is enabled, is, you have the opportunity to actually position yourself either with your current resources or by developing new capabilities or new resources and competencies and move forward into the future. So essentially making sure that the raw materials are available within your organization as you decide to go forward. The second part, which I, I call uh, culture and leadership, talks about how you, how, what it's like to be in an organization, how culture, that is what, what the organization feels like to its members, what they think is important, their values, that sort of thing, how that is built how you look at a strong culture versus a weak culture, how you look at a, a performance-based culture versus one that perhaps is unable to, uh, to deal with change or becomes very insular and focused on, it, on itself and its own needs as opposed to making sure that it's successful in the marketplace, how you think about cultures and how they vary. And then we'll close out that lecture. In fact, we'll close out the discussion of the entire, this entire course on strategic policy or a business policy and strategy on leadership and what it's like to be leading at the top of an organization, moving the organization forward, what functions are necessary to make an organization or to lead an organization like this and the values that are needed by leaders. And for that last piece, I'll draw on some of my own work um, along with my various colleagues, in particular Mary Albin, uh, in leadership research about how, we, how one learns to become effective in terms of running organizations strategically and succeeding as strategic organizations. So this is uh, an overview of this module. We'll begin next by talking about the capabilities and different approaches. And uh, we'll see you in lecture two, where we begin this discussion of making sure our organization has the raw materials it needs to be successful at strategy execution. That will be next. We'll see you then.